hey guys thanks for tuning in to simtech channel this is going to be a very quick tutorial i'm basically trying to reply to a comment from a viewer who requested that i do a similar tutorial this one is a tutorial that uh, we did on controlling this motor with the ntc and a mosfet uh, transistor so one of the viewer requested that i do a similar tutorial with an ldr and a triac right which is basically two silicon control rectifier connected back to back so if you find simtech channel to be useful please like and subscribe and equally so if you have a tutorial request you can make a tutorial request and i will attend to it as soon as i have time so without any further ado i'm going to uh, delete this uh, circuit here then i'm going to start with the new circuit that is going to be controlling um, a lamp right we're going to control a lamp with the head of an ldr which is a light dependent resistor and a triac as i have said earlier so um, I do not have them right now on this component list so I'm gonna go on and place so let me rather start by placing an alternator which is the source of power so this is my mains basically so I place my mains and I'm going to change the voltage properties here so I will make it 230 and 50 hertz is the voltage and the frequency used in europe and africa so um now i've got my power supply here and the next thing i would like to place is a fuse the fuse is important because it will prevent your circuit from damaging so you can choose a generic one but uh, be mindful when you are running a, you're going to run a simulator some component they do not have uh, simulator parameters so which mean if you place it it might not work so there was a fuse already there so i place my fuse into my circuit then the next then the next thing here is to just basically wire my fuse then i would like to place also a switch do i have a switch here on the list of component i do not have a switch so i can go ahead and find me a switch okay there is a switch then i place my switch great now the next thing is we want to uh, basically place the ldr now an ldr is a light dependent resistor so by light dependent it basically mean uh there is two types of them you have this one here and then you have the torch one so i'm going to use the one with the torch so a light dependent resistor basically the resistance of the uh, components here these uh, transducer its resistance will change based on the amount of light falling on it so uh, just like the ntc which resistance would also change based on the temperature in which it is exposed an ldr resistance will also change depending on the light that it is exposed to okay so we do have our ldr in the circuit now the principle here is very simple we need to create a biasing point for a triac so let's find a triac so a triac is like i said is two uh tyrestas or two scr connected back to back with a gate that can conduct in either direction but it need to be biased or it need a gate voltage so that it can start conducting so once the gate voltage is reached it's going to set up a current that is a minimum required current so i need a generic triac here okay this one let's take a generic triac okay let's uh, hope that this is going to work because sometimes proteus uh, component they do not work when you run a simulator 
okay so we've got the trigger current here must be one milliamp and then it has a holding current of five milliamps so you have to ensure that the once it's trigger the current must remains at that point otherwise it is going to stop conducting right there is an internal resistance right internal resistance is 0 0.1 ohm so that basically mean once this thing is trigger once a triac is trigger there is going to be a lot of current that is going to flow hence the uh, the current will only be limited based on the load that you place so if you have a load that is also have a very small resistance then you're gonna have a lot of current hence i'm placing a fuse here and this is a two amp a one amp fuse uh let's see what's going to happen first let's get the circuit going right and let's get our load here i want it to be uh, just a basic lamp right now remember triacs are mostly used they are used in ac uh motor drive circuit right so which means it need an ac voltage to operate right so which means the lamp here must also be able to work with ac voltage so now this is a 12 volt but notice my supply here is 230 so i'm assuming now this lamp must become like a bulb so i will increase the voltage to be um just about 230 volt okay so that's a nominal voltage for the bulb you can make it less but uh, if you make it 12 then it's going to basically just throw too much current right then like i said this is a triac you can place this lamp either side of your triac is still going to uh, conduct so i'm going to now root my circuit and i've got my ldr now i need a resistor now remember what i've said earlier is the the ldr here will drop the resistance depending on how much light is coming through here so if we go through the properties of this ldr here you realize that in the dark resistance is one mega ohm right so which means when there is no light falling on it, it is a one mega ohm which is a very big resistance value so now that resistance will set up a voltage divider between r1 and that internal resistance so which means depending on the voltage at this point and this resistance value you're going to have to uh, set up there will be let me rather say there will be a certain voltage here and that voltage must be uh, the minimum or the voltage needed to create a trigger current here of about one milliamps so you can basically just connect a trigger point to um, this voltage divider section here right now basically our circuit is almost ready to go and we can try let's try to power it i haven't done calculations to exactly what's the amount of resistance i need here because remember this is just a quick tutorial i wanted to just reply that it's possible to run this in proteus and let's see what we're going to get okay um so far i'm not getting anything here okay the circuit seems a bit unresponsive at this point um the resistance is 10k now oh the switch is not closed my bad let me close the switch okay well 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 so as i close the switch there was a lot of current and the fuse uh basically just exploded so i can measure this current here by placing an ammeter there so let us get an ammeter um right it's ac current so we must just make sure you choose the uh, ac current meter so i'm placing it right here and it must be in amps now let's try again see okay that current went up to 2 amps and this fuse last time i checked it was about 1 amp so i'm going to just change this fuse let me make it like a 5 amp fuse because we don't want to uh, just replace it all the time and it burns again okay so which means the load here is pulling a lot 
now let me let me just try to see what's going on here okay the, the resistance is 240 yeah so one thing with simulation is you can change the internal resistance of your component so i'm going to just change this to 360 uh the light falls on it these resistance have dropped but thus is not switching off right so which means there is a problem because this is supposed to stay on only so the lamp must only come on when there is not enough light falling onto the ldr like this is a proper state when there is not enough light right so it's dark then the lamp must come on so the problem here is the threshold here is not right because the 10k here is not the appropriate resistance now let's uh, just probe because sometimes it's just good to probe so i'm going to probe with the dc ammeter at this point uh not the dc ammeter dc no what am i doing ac voltmeter right so ac voltmeter at this point so that i can measure the voltage at this point now let's go again one time right so as things stand we are in a normal operation right so the dark resistance is one meg ohm and we have a 10k and that's setting up a huge voltage uh drop here at this point and that voltage is enough to trigger the triac and then there is conduction right the lamp is off now as i shine the light on this right now this voltage is supposed to go down okay this voltage is supposed to go down because the resistance here is going down right so if this voltage goes down then this gate the holding current is also supposed to go down if the holding current goes down because we had a trigger current now the holding current must go below the five milliamps then that should turn it off and the light must turn off now that is not happening and that's because we have a wrong resistor value here so in order to fix that you just have to replace a resistor value there and that will solve your problem you can keep on choosing values and until you get to the correct one or you can run a calculation and that will help uh, save you time so if i put a 220k i increase that now you can see at a similar position with 220k now i do not have light and the voltage at the point here is very low and there is no current okay now if i remove the light right as i remove the light you can see the voltage is rising slightly slightly as i completely remove the light the voltage have gone back 240 okay and we are rest assured that there is enough current here so let's let's put a, uh, an ammeter here so we can just monitor this current as well um ammeter and this is a small current in milliamps so you can change your unit to be milliamps there then you can run it again now you can see there is about 0.3 milliamps okay now this is a simulation it says it's one milliamps to trigger it but it's actually being triggered at about 0.3 milliamps so now if we increase you can see this is going and once it's dropped below the holding current it actually goes off okay it goes off and then the light also goes off and this circuit can be assembled very easily all you need is just a resistor an ldr and your triac and a lamp you can basically fine tune it to have an auto uh, automatic on off lamp all right so thanks for watching and if you find this quick uh, tutorial useful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to simtech channel and once again drop a comment in the comment section if you have a suggestion or a tutorial you would like to request you are welcome to uh, do so until next time stay tuned for the upcoming tutorial on simtech channel cheers